I have been printing and wearing 3D printed shoes for the past two months, and my view on the potential of 3D printing has completely changed. Today, I want to share what I've learned. After watching the launch video for the Bamboo Lab H2D, I was inspired to print my first pair of 3D printed shoes. And that one project completely changed how I think about making things at home. Welcome to 3D Fish, where I explore what works, what breaks, and what's actually useful all through the lens of personal manufacturing and 3D printing. I started with the Whaleberry designed by Cloudberry. Visually, it's a showstopper, futuristic and cool looking. But functionally, it's still lacking, especially in terms of comfort and durability. Despite the ventilation holes, the Whaleberry runs warm, and after just three weeks of daily wear, the flex zones began to crack. It's a fun project and a great conversation starter at parties, but it's not a true replacement for everyday shoes. I figured a softer TPU might help, so I printed my next pair, the Bubbleberry, also by Cloudberry, using TPU 85A, a much softer material compared to the TPU 90A I used on the Whaleberry. The Bubbleberry also introduced a new sole design that takes advantage of a special infill pattern newly available in Bamboo Studio. If you want a full breakdown, you can check out my dedicated Bubbleberry review video in the top right corner. After a week of daily driving, I can confidently say Bubbleberry is a huge improvement. It's more comfortable, more durable, and more breathable. Even as the weather gets warmer, it stays fairly cool, almost at the same level as normal shoes. That said, I suspect that once summer temperatures go over 85 degrees, they'll start to feel a bit too warm. Still, it's a significant improvement. Next up was my most recent print, the Airberry, also from Cloudberry. This design features a thinner upper and also uses the improved infill for breathability. However, I printed it in TPU 90A again, and that was a mistake. The higher collar and stiffer material ended up digging into my ankle while walking. It's super uncomfortable and, in this configuration, basically unwearable. I plan to reprint it in TPU 85A, which should solve the issue. My experience with these three freely downloadable 3D printable shoe designs has been overwhelmingly positive. At this rate, I don't think I'll be buying new shoes anytime soon. Now I'm starting work on my own shoe designs that combine multiple materials, swapping between softer and harder TPU for different zones of the shoe. A printer like the Bamboo Lab H2D with its dual nozzles is perfect for this. Bamboo Lab, if you're watching, wink wink. I've also been studying how companies like Zellerfeld approach shoe design. A recent video from CNC Kitchen shared some great insights. Zellerfeld also uses FDM printing, but with their own proprietary slicer optimized for footwear. The key seems to be variable infill densities across different parts of the shoe, which likely explains why the Bubbleberry felt so much more breathable and comfortable. They also take advantage of water-soluble support materials like PVA, which makes support removal much easier and faster, especially important for complex shoe geometries. Right now, you can't use PVA with TPU on single-nozzle printers like the X1C, so support cleanup becomes a hassle. But with the H2D's dual nozzles, you can run TPU and PVA side-by-side, -side, allowing for cleaner support structures and much faster post-processing. While Zellerfeld hasn't shared much about their current hardware, CNC Kitchen's B-roll footage revealed that their printers are likely tool changers, using different nozzle sizes for different parts of the shoe to speed up the process. That said, I still think the Bamboo Lab H2D is probably the best consumer-grade printer currently available for this kind of application. A lot of the techniques and insights from companies like Zellerfeld can be adapted to make more affordable 3D printable shoes for home use. As the technology evolves, I genuinely believe that 3D printing will reshape how we design and manufacture almost everything around us. If you're into 3D printing, DIY gear, or pushing the limits of what's possible at home, make sure to subscribe. Drop a comment if you've tried printing shoes yourself or have a model you'd like me to test. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.